We have here a solid rubber ball with a diameter that's pretty big. The uh, ACM is about my, my head size. It's released from rest from the top. ADCM falls down and then bounces back up so that the maximum height is about 45 cm as shown. So, if the kinetic energy of the ball just before it hits the surface is 0 0.75 joules, what's the KE just after it leaves the surface? So that's a lot of things to process. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redraw this. So the ball is at first up here, drops down, hits the surface. Uh, something like that. And we do know that the, at this point, there is no more GPE if we choose the ground as our reference. All the energy has been converted to kinetic energy, which is 0 0.75 joules. In the beginning, there is no kinetic energy. It's up here. How we know? Release from rest. So Ke is 0 when it's up there. So what is the energy there? Everything is stored as GPE. Because you are high up. Okay, so when I think objects are very high up, there's a very high GPE. So we could calculate it, I guess. Um, but since you see at the bottom, or when we hit the floor, we are ref we are using the bottom of the ball as reference. So I think for this purpose, I'm going to choose the bottom of the ball as a reference for height. Or you could choose the top. It really depends. So up here, I'm going to choose the top of the ball. So whatever GPE I get here will be mg times... Okay, what is this thing? Diameter is 8. So 80 minus 8, this will be 72. Okay, so this will be mg times 0.72 meter. Ah, okay, okay. And actually, huh, if all this GPE became this KE, I can kind of say, oh, so this is just equal to 0 0.75 low? Nice, 0 0.72. And I can find a very important unknown, which is the mass of the ball. Or I could just say mg. The weight of the ball. Okay, now we stick to mg. mg is the weight. 0 0.75 over 0 0.72. This will give me 1.0417. I'm going to keep many decimal because we might use this later. Okay, so this is before. Total energy before including both GPE and KE, it's going to be 0 0.75. So you exchange, uh, GPE become KE, KE become GPE. After, so total energy after is, we draw again. After you bing, bang, boom, hit the floor already, the ball is more than ready to go up with a some final KE. I'm going to call this initial and final. We don't know this. But we do know it go up, 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 up. Everything convert to GPE now. It's not moving anymore, no more KE. But you will have, at this height, some GPE. Can we calculate it? I think we can. So this will be mg. And if I choose the bottom of the ball as reference, uh, this is what, 45, right? 45 minus 8. 37. 37 uh, cm high. So this will be mg times... 0.37 but wait we can calculate it because just now we found the mg here so i can just multiply la. can 1.0417 times 0 0.37 what will i get 1.0417 i get roughly 38.5 Eh, hey, I'm missing decimal. What am I writing? <laughs> 0 0.385. Okay, there we go. Joules of energy. So all the KE, as you move up to the highest possible point, all convert into this. Which means, in the beginning, you would have that same amount. So this should be 0 0.385 as well. To have that amount. That's where you get the energy to even go up there. Okay, so this one is 0 0.385. And in this process, you're converting Ke into GPE. Because the same amount is there. All right. So that means our final answer here, we have already found it, which is 0 0.385, which is also the total energy involved in this on the right side. So we did lose some energy. Leh. Hey, 0 0.75 suddenly becomes 0 0.305. Something is lost here when they collide. Some energy was lost as heat, sound, boom, the sound, wow, the thing become hot, I don't know lah. Okay, and on the left side, oh, should complete the diagram. 
GPE is being converted into KE as the ball falls from high to low. So finally, we have our answer and the answer here will be 0 0.39, which is the best choice here for our total energy. Okay, so wow, son, if you digest it, try it again. Uh, think very carefully of how we know what to find. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.